I got a message on Facebook the other day where somebody was very upset that his friends keep calling him a FUD. He's like, hey man, I own over 100 guns, I go hunting, I go shooting at the range all the time, I know how to use my guns better than any of my friends know how to use theirs. Why do they keep calling me a FUD? He didn't understand it, didn't get it. This just so happens to come a day after I had literally just had the same conversation with somebody in the comment section of one of my videos basically saying the same thing, except they weren't really upset. They were like, yeah, sure, whatever, go ahead, call me a FUD. It's stupid. I own more guns than anybody else I know. I go to the range all the time. I know how to use my guns, pretty much verbatim to what the other guy said, but hey, sure, call me a FUD. I don't care. F it, right? Like, who cares at this point? I'm done arguing about it. Now, Obviously, these two people don't understand what a FUD is or why people are calling them FUDs. And I understand a lot of you guys out there understand what a FUD is. Uh, but for those of you that don't, I want to briefly explain. So if your friends are calling you a FUD, or if you have a FUD in your life somewhere, you understand why you are or your friends are. Okay? Basically, it derives from Elmer Fudd. You know that great gun owner that ran around with his double barrel shotguns trying to shoot wets? That's where FUD comes from. Obviously, I think most of us understand that. But it's really a way to describe one of the two types of gun owners. See, there are two types of gun owners. To just kind of generalize here just a little bit, there are pro-Second Amendment gun owners who are also pro-gun, obviously. And then there are pro-gun gun owners who aren't necessarily pro-Second Amendment as well. You see, they don't really care too much whether or not the government comes along once in a while and kind of stomps on the whole shall not be infringed portion of the Second Amendment. You know, they don't really care about background checks, even though background checks have been proven to not have stopped one single crime. They don't care about the 1934 NFA or the 68 Gun Control Act or the 86 ban or the Brady Bill or the 94 assault weapons ban or NICS or any of this other stuff. Bump stocks, eh, who really cares? Nobody has them anyway. As long as they can have what they want, and you can have what they think you should have, they're fine, okay? That's the definition of a FUD, somebody that doesn't really understand what the Second Amendment means and why it's important. They think it has more to do with being able to defend yourself at home, go to the range, or go hunting, and they don't understand the true meaning of the Second Amendment. And I don't have time to sit here and do another 20 minutes on what the meaning of the Second Amendment is, but needless to say, it was not about defending yourself against a criminal per se, and it certainly wasn't about hunting. It was about being that strong civilian force that can stand up against tyranny. Just by the fact that you own a gun, just by the fact that millions, tens and tens and tens of millions of Americans own guns, we are a deterrent. We are a deterrent from tyranny, both within our government and both from foreign powers. That is the point of the Second Amendment, and that is why shall not be infringed is such an important statement. And that is why you may or may not be a FUD.